All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. Sorry, I am sick, but I want to get this information out to you. So, Russia has released information as far as you cannot get any fuel from them. You cannot get your gas unless you switch to ruples. All right, the fact is, guys, we've been calling this. They're going to be a push on this, and they're going to hold back resources to foreign countries. There should be a pop up, an article, link in the description for you. As of right now, Germany, France, and other countries are calling this a form of blackmail that they will not, that Russia will not sell them fuel unless they pay in rubles. Now the fact is we know that they're trying to get away from the petrodollar. We know that Russia, along with China, has been building their own internet service, their own internet hubs. They want to be away from Western society, the United States. They want to be away from NATO. Now guys, when you start taking away resources from other countries like this, you make it so that they cannot get hands on it, this is when you're gonna see global conflict. There will be war over this. All resources are always at a big incentive for war. Countries go to war for lesser stuff than that. Now if you got people freezing to death, you can't run certain machineries and certain power stations because you don't have fuel, which you're reliant from purchase from Russia. These countries will be quick to go to war. Now guys, just to keep you informed here, this is actually what uh, Putin actually said. He said, buyers of Russian gas must open ruble accounts in Russian banks. Remember guys, they just got sanctioned and all this other stuff. We shut down a bunch of crap. <coughs> Excuse me. It is from these accounts that payments will be made for gas delivery starting from tomorrow, April 1st. If such payments are not made, we will consider this a default on the part of the buyers with all the insuring consequences. Nobody sells us anything for free, and we are not going to do charity either. Guys, this is going to cause the next global conflict. We've been looking at it. We've been analyzing everything. YouTubers are just YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber, okay? But I can look at <coughs> reports and try to make a decision off of it. This is one of the things that we've been looking at as far as resources. I've always said war starts with resources fighting over... Excuse me, I am sick. The fact is, guys, you can look out throughout history. When countries need resources, they will go to war. This is something that's going to happen. We will see a global conflict over this. The United States will get drawn into this war. I've seen the comments, I've read the articles, I read the same forms as everybody else. That war has nothing to do with us. Who cares? It's going to affect everybody. Conflict with Russia will affect everybody, especially since we're involved with NATO. But the fact is, I believe all my evidence proved that way too. All the research I'm looking into, <coughs> the United States wants war with Russia. You can look at it in all kinds of different ways you want to, guys. For those that believe that there is a world order trying to be established, a one ruling economics you need a global conflict to do that it will happen get your stuff prepared do you need to run go get gas well probably not not right now if you're a prepper I say keep on storing all right just like you always do keep on storing you ain't gotta go rush panic buy just go get extra stuff when you go to the store fuel prices they will be affected. Of course they will. Any type of conflict is going to make the uh, fuel price go up. So guys, just be ready for it. Just uh, a little bit more information for you guys to follow up on. For those that are going, nothing's going to happen. It's happening. Okay? I mean, we've proven it's happening. Most of the people that sit and get on the internet typing away about how nothing's happening, they don't need to do this, they don't need to do that. That's because they don't do anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, I'm still fighting this stuff. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to take the initiative as we have in protecting our families. They want to call us doomsdayers. They want to call us end of the world fanatics. Nah, I was raised in the poverty level. I know what it's like to have a winter storm come through, knock out powers, ice down the roads for two, three weeks at a time. You can't get to the store. This is a lifestyle. This is something that we started doing a long time ago. I grew up in it. Now, later on, after the whole Y2K stuff, it kind of woke me up. Anything could happen. How am I going to be prepared? If you only have 
a couple weeks supply of food and supplies guys really buckle down get more <clears throat> I push that people need to have a year supply of normal canned goods and dry goods if you don't have the room for it get as much as you can while you can just because you don't have a year supply doesn't mean that you're not a prepper but in my opinion I think we need more than that so that's what we do here you don't have to do what we do we show you what we do here the rest of it is up to you on what your preparedness level is going to be just be ready all right guys i'm gonna go rest up some more and i'll speak to you later